My name is Adrian Nanchev and my channel is all about helping you become a remarkable entrepreneur. And I'm talking about what is the secret to success? Okay, well, a lot of people will have a lot of definitions of success. Okay, well, no, no, let's go back a step. A lot of people will have a lot of definitions and answers to what is the secret to success. Some people want you to define what is success. But I'm going to approach it from a very economical, very black and white kind of angle. And it's this. It's, it's one phrase, and I'll break it down. Engage in more voluntary transactions in a free market. So engage in more voluntary transactions in a free market. I want to write that down. So let's, let's break it down. Engage. Engage indicates action. Action indicates that you need to take your idea, your aspiration, your dream, your vision, and act upon it. You need to put it into motion. You need to start that flame, ignite that flame if you want to see a bonfire. You have to do something, and you have to stop dreaming and actually act. And you also got to understand that the concept of once you build it, they will come, is very, count, not, is very counterproductive and fatal and very flawed. That's not true because you need to gobble up attention, and I shall go on to this further on. It's to do with the other one, but you need to take your action, take your idea, and turn it into action. So engage in more voluntary. Now voluntary, because a free, because capitalism is all about voluntary transactions, and persuading people into buying from you, persuading people to buy your product. The only reason why McDonald's is still in business and the only reason why Coca-Cola is still in business is because they still persuade people to voluntarily give them their money. See, unlike the government, the government can demand that you pay taxes on penalty of imprisonment, on penalty of violence, on penalty of some punishment, whereas a company, a business, a corporation, they can only persuade you to give you their money. They can't force you to give you their money. They can only persuade you. Coca-Cola can only persuade people to, to, to sell you their Coke. They can't force you to buy Coca-Cola. So it's got to be voluntary. You've got to be worth a damn for them to know, like, and trust you and thus persuade them enough so they are willing to buy from you. This is why the concept of build it and they will come is flawed because you've got to persuade people. You've got to give people a, per, a reason to buy from you. The world is one business as well. It's one great big game of reciprocity. The more you give to the world, the more you share to the world, the more you'll get back from the world. So engage in more voluntary transaction. A transaction we're talking about an excuse for someone to pay you. This is a book, this is a product, this is a service, this is anything, e an e-course, um, a digital device, a bookshelf, a book, yeah, a book, a bookshelf, TV, a chair, anything. There's got to be something that uh, that gives them an excuse to buy from you. The more excuses you, and this is kind of a quasi-secret as well, the more excuses you give people to give you money, the, the richer you'll become. Um, let's look at the baker. The baker gets rich by giving people what they want, so it's voluntary. He gives them bread at either cheaper prices, so he's persuading them, saying, oh, it's, it's 50 pence today rather than a quid, or making it more readily available. Reciprocity, he takes, it into, he takes his idea into action, and he gives people what they want, so they give him what he wants. And lastly, free market, meaning that this is Britain. This is not this is not North Korea. This isn't Soviet Union. There's no government or no concentration camps or gulags, no external factor in the world that's preventing me from recording this video, from starting a business, from writing a book, things like that. There's no external factor that's stopping me and preventing me from building a business. And nor and if you're watching this, the chances are there's nothing stopping you from building a business. Nothing external. There may be obstacles or lack of resources, yes, but there's no one physically stopping you, preventing you from starting a business. Even a license, it's just an obstacle. You can get one, people have done it before, you can do it again. There's no penalty of death for trying to start a business. There's nothing stopping you, and the only thing that's stopping you is in here. It's internal. The free market means the world is letting you, the world is letting you do it, so why don't you do it? 
oh, why don't you do it? It's like anyone can learn how to drive a car. It's the opportunity. The opportunity is there for you, but do you take it? Yes or no? That's your prerogative. So the free market is saying the system in which we live, the external factors, are are set up so if you want to start a business, yeah, sure. I mean, like, there's the internet. Log on to Amazon. So start doing FBA fulfilled by Amazon. There's Shopify. Start start that. Contact a web developer. Build a website. Go on to Create Space. Start writing a book. It's all there. It's your prerogative. It's all here. This, the, the last part of it is all down to you, whether or not you want to do it, because this is the only thing stopping you in here. Your comfort zone, your talent, your comfort, your comfort zone, your talents, your abilities, your tenacity, all of it's in here then. The world, is, the world is bowing down to you saying, if you want to start a business, go ahead. You know, they've opened the, do they've opened the door, it's your choice of whether you want to take it or not. So there's that secret again, very technical from an economics point of view, but quite accurate. Engage in more voluntary transactions in a free market. The more you give people, the more excuses you give them to pay you and give you money, and the more you give people what they want, whether or not they know they want it, or if the demand is already there, that's going into marketing a little bit, but the more you give people what they want, the more they will give you what, you're, what you are after. The more knowledge I share with the world through blogs, and through videos like this, the more I'll get what I'm after. Reputation, awareness, attention, uh, sales, book sales, things like that. Engage in more voluntary transactions in a free market. Quite profound. A lot of people talk about um, things like goal setting and ambition and drive. Yeah, that's fine. It's, it's, very, it's very eternal, but I'm, I'm looking at this from a technical angle. Engage in more voluntary transactions in a free market. Mm, I agree with that. Create more excuses for people to pay you. Create more things that people want. Quite profound. Quite simple, I, I think. A bit technical. But anyway, if this is your first time to the channel, subscribe. Because this channel is all about helping you become a remarkable entrepreneur. And thank you for letting me take a small part in that. So subscribe, and you'll see me again soon.